Welcome to the Astoria Film Festival's virtual step and repeat interview. Today we're meeting with Sarah Mish. <laughs> She's the star, choreographer, and producer of Meet, a dance film. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, um, or like as good as anybody is in these times. <laughs> Tell us about yourself, um, a little bit about you and your background and uh, about the film and what kind of was the motivation to create this film? Totally. So um, uh, I am originally born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada, but I've been in New York for, I came to New York to go to NYU um, to get my undergraduate degree in educational theater. And I've just been here since, and that's been a little over 10 years. Um, I'm a primarily a, a theater trained artist, but I've also always been really, really interested in dance. And um, as I learned more about film through um, dating my partner, who is a filmmaker and who was the director on this film, on this project, and sort of um, learning to be a film actor, I've become more excited about this medium and the intersection between um, the, like how to, how we can use dance and film together. I think that there um, there's a lot of unexplored possibility there. Um, and the idea for me is actually um, an idea I had for a directing nonverbal project that I had in college um, <laughs> that I ended up having to scrap because the requirement for the piece was that there had to be at least three uh, people in it and this is a duet. So <laughs> I sort of just sat on it and sat on it for about 10 years. It was originally a stage piece and um, then I realized that a lot of the sort of effects that I wanted to create in real time in theater could also be achieved through film and um, there were a lot more possibilities on how to achieve it. And um, so a huge part of the story in terms of actually getting the film to finally come to fruition is I pitched the film to the, um, to the guys at FRG probably about two to three years before we actually made it. But I was undecided about whether I wanted to be the woman in the film or if I wanted to hire another dancer and like just totally be outside of it. And also I was having a hard time finding a male partner who I felt was like the right fit, who I felt um, was gonna kind of match me um, in, in sort of energy and creativity, but I also really wanted an actor and not just a dancer because I knew that I wanted all of these tight shots. Um, and I also um, wanted somebody that I felt safe to create around because I knew that this was gonna be a total experiment. And um, I happened to be working with my friend Tristan, who was a former member of Improbable Stage, my movement theater company. And he and I were improvising a lot in rehearsal. And he, I mean, if you see the film, you'll see he throws me around very easily. <laughs> we have we have very like facile, um, easy body chemistry. And um, he's fun as bleep to work with. <laughs> and we laugh a lot in rehearsal. And it sort of just, and that ended up naturally coming into a very nice fit. And the film would not have, he was the last piece that like really needed to come into place in order for me to feel comfortable to even make the piece. And so I'm just really, really grateful that he signed on. A more about Film Repertory Group? Absolutely. So um, Film Repertory Group is a collective of um, New York based indie art, indie film artists. Um, we are um, currently, we are three members. We're John Noel, Sarah Mish, and Justin Rogers. Mostly it started as passion projects and now we are sort of a production company for hire. Um, are you working on any new projects coming up? We are actually, um, we're actually in pre-production for another dance film. Um, working title is A Woman's Work. I um, am co-creating this one with um, my, with a, a member of my, I'm in a movement theater company, I, um, another member of the company, Danielle, and I are co-creating it together. And we were in the middle of choreographing it when COVID happened. And we had, um, we've danced together for several years now. And so we sort of decided that we could continue to choreograph virtually. So we have been, um, we've been doing remote choreography sessions through Zoom. Um, and we've welcomed on a female director. And so we've been having sort of a long, drawn out pre-production, which has been actually kind of amazing because normally I feel like we would be pushing ourselves to make choices quicker, but there's no rush. <laughs> um, is there anything else you'd like to talk about before we wrap up? I, I did a virtual musical um, 
recorded entirely over Zoom at towards the beginning of quarantine when we weren't really sure how long it was gonna last. Um, that's a, an original musical that was written, recorded, rehearsed all um, in this time period. It's called um, While We Wait. You can find it on uh, the Big Theater Company Instagram page or you can go to bigtheater.org slash wait. Because we had to record it all, um, through Zoom, and there's not really a way to sync music from multiple locations yet, we all recorded our stuff separately. Um, and so he edited together eight different tracks, and they blended all the music later. It was, it's crazy. It was a crazy editing feat. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think of that. Yes. Tell us a little about, I know, when did you start your hallway dance sessions, and uh, how have they been going? Yeah, so I actually started those um, in 2018 in November because I was feeling extremely frustrated um, with my auditioning as an actor and wanting to take a little more ownership of my artistic stuff and just decide to make something. So I started with this initiative called Create Design that I made up called Creative November where I was just going to do something creative every day for every day of November. And all I wanted to do was dance in my hallway. So I only did that. Um, and then I made it into, um, I decided to just continue and make it a semi-daily practice. I actually, hang on, prop. I read this book, <laughs> The Creative Habit by Twyla Tharp, which I cannot recommend if you're a dancer or just a creative person. It's an excellent, excellent book um, to just help you take charge of your own artistry. And I just got really excited about the idea of making it a day, like making this a, a practice that I that I do every day. I think it's it's kind of like a, a writing journal or a, an art journal. You know, it's it's an ex daily exercise. You know, that's how it, it feels like a dance journal when I watch it. I, I very much enjoy it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I think it's really fun. And one of the things that's been amazing is I I post some of the stuff on on my Instagram, and I've had a lot of people sort of reach out to me privately and say that it has inspired them to try something, anything. Felt like I was just doing it for me and it really was nice that it affected other people too. I mean, I think that's the best thing about art is, you know, you do it for yourself because you have to, like you have to do it to stay sane, you have to do it to feel good. And then I think you're often surprised, pleasantly surprised by how much it might help other people um, you know, so like the, 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 the process that helps you so much will also helps others. It, it's kind of a beautiful thing about art. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see you in person again and give you, yes, virtual hugs. <laughs> this is what I've been doing. 